Are you ready to marvel at the hidden wonders of nature? Today we're counting down the 10 rarest plants in the world. If you're ready, let's start. Number 10. Jade Vine Imagine a rainforest vine with flowers that glow like turquoise jewels. That's the jade vine, a rare and stunning tropical plant native to the Philippines. The jade vine, also known as Strongylodon macrobotrys, is a member of the pea family. It can grow up to 30 meters long and produces clusters of hanging flowers that can reach up to 3 meters long. The flowers are claw-shaped and have a brilliant turquoise color that is unlike any other flower in the world. The jade vine is a popular ornamental plant in botanical gardens and conservatories around the world. It is also grown in some tropical countries as a shade plant or for its flowers, which are used in traditional medicine. In addition to its beauty, the jade vine is also an important food source for bats and other nocturnal animals. The nectar of the flowers is rich in energy and nutrients, and the bats help to pollinate the plant. The jade vine is a rare and endangered plant. It is threatened by habitat loss and overcollection. However, there are a number of conservation programs underway to protect this unique and precious plant. Number 9. Silver Sword Silver swords are unique and beautiful plants that are found only on the Hawaiian Islands. They are known for their silvery appearance, which is due to dense clusters of tiny hairs on their leaves. Silver swords can take decades to bloom, but when they do, they produce a spectacular flower spike that can reach up to 6 feet tall. Silver swords are monocarpic plants, meaning that they die after flowering and producing seeds. Their long lifespan is an adaptation to the harsh environmental conditions in which they grow. Silver swords are found at high altitudes on the slopes of Haleakala on Maui and Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa on the Big Island of Hawaii. These areas are often dry and windy, with cold temperatures at night. Silver swords have a number of adaptations that help them to survive in these harsh conditions. Their silvery hairs help to reflect sunlight and reduce water loss. Their deep roots allow them to tap into underground water sources. And their thick, fleshy leaves store water and nutrients. Silver swords are a vital part of the Hawaiian ecosystem. They provide food and shelter for a variety of native animals, including insects, birds, and bats. Silver swords also play an important role in soil erosion control and water filtration. Number 8. Dragon's Blood Tree on the remote island of Socotra, in the Indian Ocean, stands a majestic tree unlike any other. It is the dragon's blood tree, named for the deep red resin that it produces. This resin, which resembles dragon's blood, has been prized for centuries for its medicinal and magical properties. The dragon's blood tree is a truly unique sight. It has a thick, gnarled trunk and a crown of umbrella-shaped branches. Its leaves are long and sword-like, and its flowers are white and fragrant. The tree can grow to be over 30 feet tall and live for hundreds of years. The dragon's blood tree is a vital part of the Socotra ecosystem. It provides food and shelter for a variety of animals, including birds, insects, and reptiles. The tree's roots also help to prevent soil erosion. The dragon's blood tree has a long and fascinating history. It was known to the ancient Egyptians, who used its resin for embalming and medicine. The Romans also prized the resin for its medicinal properties and used it to treat a variety of ailments, including wounds, ulcers, and diarrhea. In medieval times, the dragon's blood tree was associated with magic and sorcery. It was believed that the resin could be used to cast spells and ward off evil spirits. The resin was also used to make red ink for writing manuscripts and to create varnishes for violins and other instruments. Number 7. Cauliflower Coral Imagine a miniature cauliflower, but instead of white florets, it has intricate branches and vibrant colors. This is the cauliflower coral, a rare and beautiful creature found in the Pacific Ocean. Cauliflower coral is a type of hard coral, meaning that it has a hard, limestone skeleton. The coral grows in colonies, with each individual coral polyp, the tiny animal that makes up the coral, connected to its neighbors. The polyps are responsible for building the coral skeleton, as well as feeding and reproducing. Cauliflower coral is typically found in shallow waters, where it is exposed to plenty of sunlight. The coral's bright colors come from symbiotic algae that live within its tissues. The algae provide the coral with nutrients through photosynthesis, and the coral provides the algae with a safe place to live. Cauliflower coral is an important part of the reef ecosystem. It provides food and shelter for a variety of marine life, and its skeleton helps to protect the coastline from erosion. 
However, cauliflower coral is also a threatened species. Climate change, pollution, and overfishing are all putting stress on coral reefs around the world. Number 6. Ghost Orchid The ghost orchid is a rare and ethereal flower native to Florida. It is known for its near-translucent appearance, which gives it a ghostly glow. Ghost orchids are extremely difficult to spot in the wild due to their camouflaged appearance. They typically grow in remote swamp forests and small wooded islands, where their roots blend in with the bark of the trees. Ghost orchids are epiphytes, meaning they grow on other plants, but they do not harm their hosts. They have no leaves and rely on their roots for photosynthesis. Ghost orchids typically bloom once a year, for a brief period of time. Their flowers are white and have a sweet fragrance that attracts pollinators, such as giant sphinx moths. Ghost orchids are endangered due to a number of factors, including habitat loss, poaching, and climate change. They are also very slow-growing and take many years to mature. As a result, ghost orchid populations are declining. Despite the challenges they face, ghost orchids remain one of the most popular and sought-after orchids in the world. Many people are drawn to their beauty, mystery, and rarity. If you are lucky enough to see a ghost orchid in the wild, please do not disturb it. Number 5. Wolwichia mirabilis. Imagine a plant that can live for over 1,000 years in one of the driest places on Earth. That's Wolwichia mirabilis, a truly remarkable plant that is found only in the Namib Desert of southwestern Africa. Wolwichia is unusual in many ways. It has just two leaves, which it produces when it is a seedling. These leaves continue to grow throughout the plant's life and can eventually reach lengths of several meters. As the leaves grow, they split into many segments, giving the plant a unique appearance. Wolwichia also has a deep taproot that allows it to reach water deep underground. This is essential for survival in the Namib Desert, where rainfall is rare and unpredictable. Wolwichia is a dioecious plant, meaning that male and female plants are separate. Male plants produce pollen cones, while female plants produce seed cones. The pollen is carried by the wind to the female plants, where it fertilizes the seeds. Wolwichia is a slow-growing plant, but it is very hardy. It can withstand extreme heat and drought, and is even able to survive being buried in sand. Wolwichia is a living fossil, meaning that it is very similar to plants that lived millions of years ago. It is a reminder of the ancient world, and a testament to the power of life to adapt to even the most challenging environments. Number 4. Wulami. Imagine a tree that has been around since the time of the dinosaurs. A tree that was thought to be extinct for millions of years, but was rediscovered in a remote valley in Australia in 1994. That tree is the Wulami pine, a living fossil that has fascinated scientists and the public alike. The Wulami pine is a coniferous tree that can grow up to 40 meters tall and has a lifespan of hundreds of years. It has distinctive dark green leaves that are arranged in a spiral pattern around the stem. The tree produces cones that contain seeds, but it also has the ability to reproduce asexually by producing new shoots from its roots. The Wulami pine is found in only one place in the world, a remote valley in the Wulami National Park in Australia. The valley is so steep and inaccessible that it is only accessible by helicopter. This isolation has helped to protect the Wulami pine from extinction, but it also makes it difficult to study and conserve. Scientists believe that the Wulami pine once thrived in many parts of the world, but its population declined dramatically during the last ice age. The tree's survival in the Wulami National Park is a testament to its resilience and adaptability. Number 3. Dracula Simia Dracula simia, also known as the monkey face orchid, is a rare and captivating orchid species native to Ecuador and Peru. It gets its name from the striking resemblance of its flower to a monkey's face, with two large petals resembling eyes, a column resembling a nose, and a lip resembling a mouth. The monkey face orchid is a relatively small plant, growing to about 6 inches in height. It is an epiphyte, meaning that it grows on other plants, such as trees and shrubs. The orchid prefers to grow in cool, humid conditions, and it is typically found in cloud forests at elevations of 6,500 to 10,000 feet. The monkey face orchid blooms year-round, and each flower can last for up to two weeks. The flowers are typically white or cream in color, with purple or brown markings. They have a sweet, citrusy scent that attracts pollinators such as bees and hummingbirds. The monkey face orchid is a popular ornamental plant, and it is also used in traditional medicine. 
In Ecuador, the orchid is used to treat a variety of ailments, including respiratory infections, digestive problems, and skin conditions. Number 2. Amorphophallus titanum. The corpse flower, also known as the titanarum, is one of the most fascinating and bizarre plants on Earth. It is native to the rainforests of Sumatra, Indonesia, and is known for its enormous and peculiar inflorescence, which can grow up to 8 feet tall. But what really sets the corpse flower apart is its strong odor of rotting flesh, which it emits when in bloom. This foul smell is actually a clever adaptation that helps the corpse flower attract pollinators. Flies and beetles are drawn to the smell of decaying meat, so they are more likely to visit the corpse flower and pick up pollen on their bodies. This pollen can then be transferred to other corpse flowers, helping to ensure the plant's reproduction. The corpse flower is a relatively rare plant, and it only blooms once every 7 to 10 years. This makes each blooming event a special occasion, and people from all over the world travel to see it. In fact, when a corpse flower blooms in a botanical garden or conservatory, it often attracts thousands of visitors. While the corpse flower's smell may be unpleasant to humans, it is actually quite important for the plant's survival. By attracting pollinators, the corpse flower is able to reproduce and continue its existence. Number 1. Reflesia arnoldii. Imagine a flower so big that it can reach up to 3 feet in diameter and weigh 15 pounds. That's the Reflesia arnoldii, the world's largest flower. It's also known as the corpse flower because it emits a foul odor of rotting flesh to attract pollinators. Reflesia arnoldii is a parasitic plant, meaning that it doesn't have any roots, leaves, or stems. It grows inside the vines of other plants and absorbs their nutrients and water. The only part of the Reflesia arnoldii that is visible above ground is its flower. The Reflesia arnoldii flower is a truly impressive sight. It has five reddish-brown petals with white spots. The center of the flower is filled with thousands of tiny male and female flowers. When the flower is ready to be pollinated, it emits a foul odor of rotting flesh. This odor attracts flies and beetles, which pollinate the flower as they feed on its nectar. Reflesia arnoldii is a rare flower, and it is only found in the rainforests of Sumatra and Borneo in Southeast Asia. It is a threatened species due to habitat loss and deforestation. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos.